one is Magazine Fjord and you can see custom binary blocked by FRP lock. This is Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and nothing happens. Just when you power up the, the device you can see this notification. And, and that's it. Nothing happens. So I have guys for you solution. For what for that you will have to need your Windows 10 um, device, computer, and also cables. And um, now what we have to do is to boot up into download recovery mode. So we can we click down button, home and power, and we do that simultaneously. So now we click while I'm to continue while I'm up. It's what you see a for B log on. This is product name. Okay guys, and now what you will have to do next is to download uh the device the firmware of the so you go to some mobile. Then you log in and then you'll have to go to firmware and search for S7 Edge and this actually will be mine and I'm from Baltics so I'll have to choose uh, the version of Baltics, but I didn't choose. Okay, you click next. So here we are, S7 Edge. This, so this is, you download the latest version. So what I did re recently and you go. Okay, so just a second. Baltics Okay, make sure you download the latest version. So in this case, this is this version Okay, so you click wait and download Now after 30 seconds of waiting you click it here Just download Okay, now uh, once the do downloaded you will have to download um this odin version and i have it okay so that's zip that's not good okay here we are make sure you download the latest odin version and then run administri as administrator okay um for bl you will have to use okay i don't see just hold on so now you have to go to download that file so this is my firmware and you will have to extract all files okay device is still in download mode so nothing bad about that okay so okay once extracted you can see all files here okay so that's great you can see guys actually no device is added. This is my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, so I will have to. Okay, removed. Now, guys, so this is your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Make sure that this is your original cable you plug in. Mm. This is old device. Actually, this is not original, but it still fits. So you can see added, right? 
Okay, now you will have to choose BL file. Okay. Make sure. So you click on BL, then you open that and you wait. Okay, now you choose AP. You click and wait until it shows up here. Okay, this file looks like it's much heavier. So let's wait. Okay, after 20 seconds, it's working. Now you click for CP, for CP, now it's finished. And then for CSC, which is this one. But some of guys choose home. I don't know what's the difference, but Let's choose this one. Okay, you wait. Okay, so now, now everything showed up. You can see the binary size. And then you click start. So this is the device. Okay. Um. So oh, maybe I'll put it somewhere here and okay so it seems that it started but still nothing happens and guys actually for your information uh, this file that I download it now it's not for Baltics it's for Turkey and I'm trying this file and see if that succeeds or not because if it is not so I will have to download the original Baltics firmware so stay tuned okay guys so actually it didn't work out when I tried all the files it could be because the reason was that uh, actually as I said to you before this is not the Baltics version that used to be on my device but this is actually the the version for Turkey country okay so now I tried CSC as home and this time it just shows pass, but still custom banner blocked. Okay, still the same. Okay, so it looks like it didn't change nothing. Okay. Okay, so actually, guys, uh, what I did, I downloaded the latest version of Odin. Because I was getting, uh, I was getting stuck, and I was getting some error lines and whatever. But now I have downloaded also, as you can see, Baltics version. So this is SEP, this is Baltics, and now I can see the real change is coming. So hopefully my um, my phone this time will boot up, and as you can see, the already everything is going well. So make sure you download the latest, latest, because uh, once you download a little bit older, you will have some errors. I don't know why. I also was having, I tried to install uh, home, uh, not CSC, but the home file. And um, I was also having problem. It didn't, I mean, it passed, but it didn't work. It was still showing binary custom um frp blocked and um, but for that case i downloaded the latest version and i um installed um csc as you know as csc no so i will lose all my previous files unfortunately but at least i will have the new uh, totally new system so let's wait and see what happens
Okay, so far everything is okay. So still you can see that this is FRP lock on. Okay, many changes now. Okay, reset, pass. Wow. Okay, the moment. Whew. Hmm, at least something new. <laughs> Erasing. Okay, so it was done in. Device not recognized. Okay, pass in 4 minutes and. 54 seconds. Okay. Okay, and you restart. <laughs> wow, it's working. <gasps> Nothing. Okay, add it. <coughs> so and uh, guys, I will come with my stick because I'm moving the camera all the time. Just a second. Okay, guys, so actually you can um, remove USB cable. It doesn't matter now. Okay, now the camera will not move. So you will see the whole screen. Okay. Oh, some signs of life, finally. Mm -hmm. So, everything seems working fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll guys show you how to read this device and actually I'll why I did have this FRP binary lock is because I have rooted my device and there was in developer's mode, developer section, there was something I had to untick. ON. Wow. Okay. Actually, I know how to bypass that, but. Okay. Mm, all right.